right now, she had a dream that is leading people to other gods. And God said, I I'm going to prove you with this thing. In fact, here's an article from crystallinks.com about Ganesha. Ganesha, in fact, is the symbol of he who has the discovered the divinity within himself. Ganesha is the first sound, Om, in which all hymns were born. When Shakti, remember that, and Shiva meet, both sound, Ganesha, and light, Skanda, were born. So in other words, it's about the fusion of, of opposites, Shakti and Shiva. And remember Shakti? Shakti pot is when the uh, this so-called anointing, you, you get hit on the head and you get anointed and you get this enlightenment in you. That is Shakti pot. So when Shakti and Shiva come together, the male and the female principle, sons of God, daughters of men, joining together, that's when Ganesha comes forth. The God who's clearing everything out of the way. Whew. See, I, I really do believe that she had this dream. And I believe a spirit gave her this dream. And then, of course, the idea of an elephant is associated with the tarot card. And this one, this one in particular was designed by Aleister Crowley himself. I want you to notice that behind the hierophant... The Hierophant is the one who brings people into the initiation process of the new religion or the new way, the mystery religions. The Hierophant is the one who is clearing the way to bring everybody in to initiate them into the new mystery religion. And we have the images of elephants behind his head. That is the Hierophant and they are associated together. Now... Here's another thing, and I have a guy out in California that's been kind of watching for this stuff, and he'll send me a clip every now and then. He said, Pastor Mike, you you got to see this one. This is a rock and roll video called All the Lovers. And... <laughs> I can't even show you I can't even show you most of it. But I will tell you, in fact, you see the elephant imagery here. Here we have this, I want you to notice like this, these people are building a tower of Babel, by the way. And they're all doing it by making love. And in this video you have male and female and you have sodomites all making love, making this tower of Babel. By the way, she's at the top releasing this dove. That's Columbine. That is a false Spirit. It's meant to be the Holy Spirit or meant to masquerade as Holy Spirit, but it's not. It is a false spirit. It is Mystery Babylon the Great because her symbol is also the dove. She's releasing this dove and then we have this dancing elephant floating around in the air as a sign, as a symbol of clearing the way so that this anointing can be released. And remember... She said in this clip, she said that this was bringing the, bringing the kingdom of God down to the earth, fusing together. Are you listening to what's going on, people? Now, she gives this illustration of the elephant, and then she says that she was told that you need the elephant first before you can get the lion. See, I get this. And if you're a watcher, and if you've been studying the Bible, and you know that there's a lot of falsehoods out there, you get this too. Well, well maybe, maybe she was just talking about, you know, Jesus, the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Revelation chapter 10. You know, Revelation 5 talks about Jesus being the Lion of the tribe of Judah. And then Revelation 10, who I believe this is Jesus, I saw another mighty angel come down from heaven. We know that's where Jesus is coming from, clothed with a cloud. Uh, we saw that in one of our videos. He's clothed with a cloud. He has a rainbow upon his head. That's the glory of God. So I believe it's Jesus. His face was as it were the sun. That's Jesus. His feet as pillars of fire. That's what is leading the children of Israel into the new promised land. And he had in his hand a little book open. Remember in Revelation 5 and 6, he takes the book in his hand and he's opening the seals. And now it's open in his hand. Um, and he set his right foot upon the sea and his left foot on the earth and he cried with a loud voice as when a lion roareth and when he had cried seven thunders uttered their voices yes I believe that Jesus is like a lion he is the lion of the tribe of Judah but what does the scriptures also say? 1 Peter chapter 5. Be sober. Well, that counts Todd Bentley out because he is not sober. 
So what has happened? He's drunk, which means he can't tell when he hears a lion roar. He can't tell if it's Jesus or someone pretending to be Jesus. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, you know, the the one that's opposite you, not on your side, your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour, whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Lucifer is going to masquerade as a lion. And if you're drunk, you won't get it. There'll be you won't know that you're following the wrong one. I really believe God wants to prove mankind. We are in the proving days right now. Joel chapter 1. Uh oh, here we go. Joel's army. Remember, for a nation has come upon my land strong and without number, whose teeth are the teeth of a lion and hath the cheek teeth of a great lion. If you go to Revelation chapter 9, that's the description that you see of the angels that are in prison right now that are going to be released. They have the teeth of a lion and they're ready to devour everything they get their hands on. Jeremiah chapter 5. Wherefore a lion out of the forest shall slay them and a wolf of the evenings shall spoil them. A leopard shall watch over their cities and every one that goeth out thence shall be torn in pieces because their transgressions are many and their backslidings are increased. God is, God is releasing this thing right now. Why? Because there's way too much sin in the church. Mark it down, people. Hosea chapter 13. Therefore, God is saying this now. God said, Therefore I will be unto them as a lion. As a leopard, by the way, will I observe them, and I will meet them as a bear that is bereaved of her whelps, and will rend the call of their heart, and there will I devour them like a lion, and the wild beast shall tear them. That is exactly the description that John saw the beast in Revelation 13, 2. And the beast which I saw was likened to a leopard, and his feet were as the feet of a bear, and his mouth as the mouth of a lion. And the dragon gave him his power and his seat and great authority. People... It's not just Todd Bentley. It's everyone who has abandoned the Word of God and chased after dreams, contemplative prayer, feelings, experiences, emotions, stories, myths, legends, movies, everything in the world. They have left the Word of God and they've embraced other gods through other mediums. So we're not just talking about Todd and his wife, Jessa. We're talking about every vile thing right now that is exalting itself against the Word of God. And people, people are in danger. And it's easy. You know, really, I mean, it's easy. When we see this gal going, ah, like that, I mean, it's kind of easy. I'm kind of dizzy even from doing that. It's kind of easy to say, well, you know, that, that's just, that's fake. That's fun. Well, we're Baptists. We don't do that. Yeah. But what you're doing is you're abandoning the King James Bible and you're going after everything else in the world. Same spirit. Just a different manifestation. People need to be warned. And we need to be careful. Because the Todd Bentleys that are out there are not always as obvious as the real Todd Bentley. Your family members, your friends, people that you know, they need to be warned. They need to know the truth that is coming in these last days. That God has a proving time right now. God's drawing a line and whose side are you going to be on God is my helper I'm going to do everything that I can and then the grace of God kicking in I'm going to stick with the King James Bible and I'm not going to ask God oh God give me a dream God show me God show me a little movie in my head of what's going to happen I can just read in the Bible and God gives understanding and that's what I encourage you